Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you my minimal SLG collection. As most of you know, I'm on a journey to own fewer things in general because I want to really use and appreciate what I have. In the case of SLGs, I naturally don't feel like I own too much, so this area was pretty easy for me. What hasn't been easy for me is the area of handbags themselves, and I explained all about that in my previous videos, which I will link in the description box below. In another recent video of mine, I mentioned I had a small luxury handbag wish list. Things have changed recently, but I will share with you what was on that list at the end of this video. My very first luxury SLG was the Louis Vuitton key pouch in the monogram print. This classic is probably a lot of people's firsts. This has been a favorite of mine for 8 years and its convenience has forever shaped the way I think about wallets. I keep cards and cash in the zipper pocket and hang my keys on the golden clasp. By combining two essentials together, keys and wallet, I feel like I have one less thing to worry about. If I'm driving home, I never wonder if I forgot my wallet. When I'm going to a drive through the wallet is dangling off the keys in the ignition and my credit card is easily accessible to pay for things. This SLG is also lightweight and compact and very minimal but effective. The second SLG I have is the same item in another design. It is the Louis Vuitton key pouch in the Damia Azura print. I got this item as a souvenir when I went to Korea three years ago. I'm not great at keeping souvenirs and I figured if I bought something pricier, I would more likely keep it. I was also eager to have a wallet that was lighter in color for the summer, even though I ended up using this all year long once I switched out of the monogram one. Both key pouches combined have worked hard for me over the years. They do show wear, especially the azure on the canvas, and the gold coloring has rubbed off in areas. Still, I'm a fan of this design. My third SLG is the Louis Vuitton Agenda in the monogram print in the PM size. I received this as a Christmas gift years ago, and the size is good for to-do lists and a monthly overview. I don't buy the LV refills, I just print my own pages. It is very compact and fits easily in small bags like the LV Favorite. This is not a product for those who need a more elaborate planner. The wear on this product has been fair. The edges still look good after all this time. The fourth SLG I own is the Prada Nylon Cosmetic Pouch in the small size. This is a basic, discreet design that is compact and wipeable. This is what it looks like turned inside out. It has a Prada plate in a small zippered compartment that is great for small things like hair ties and bobby pins. I got this cosmetic pouch versus other ones because this one is squishy and carefree versus a more structured one. Of course, this is a cosmetic pouch and you can fit things in it like a compact, lipstick and comb, but recently I discovered it can work as a pencil pouch as well. So these four make up my luxury SLG collection. But wait, I have a bonus one. I don't know if people consider Coach a luxury company, but I wanted to share with you what I'm currently using as a wallet. It is the Coach Mini Skinny ID case I received as a gift a month ago. The gift giver knew I liked pink, and I think this pop of color adds a feminine touch to my everyday items. I also like the black hardware that acts as a neutral to traditional gold or silver. And now for my luxury handbag wish list. When I mentioned I had a small wish list a couple of videos ago, I was thinking about the Prada Reedition nylon bag. I was specifically interested in the cameo beige color because it looked like a nice neutral. Plus the silver hardware, the removable strap, the lightweight nylon, and the hobo design drew me in. But then I started seeing all these variations, including the simple black 2000 version, and I started feeling like if I liked them all, it meant I didn't specifically like one the most. Besides, these handbags are always coming in and out of stock, and the trendiness of this bag has pushed it off on my list. The second bag that caught my attention recently is the Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag. This one looks like a well-made classic in a beautiful neutral color as well. However, when I looked at the pictures of this online, I saw that it was bigger and wider than I pictured. And I really enjoy smaller, slimmer bags. Plus that price tag, oh my. So now I have an empty luxury handbag wish list, which I feel good about. I'm wondering, do you have a wish list? Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all perfect days. Mm -hmm.